Aviation, an industry full of wonder and excitement. This amazing industry relies on the hard work of each individual to function. Let's explore some of the fundamentals of aviation operations. Most journeys begin at the airport. Starting with the terminal building, the land side area is open to the public. Boarding screens throughout the building display relevant flight information such as arrivals, departures, delays and cancellations. The boarding process starts at the check-in counters. Here documents are checked, bags are weighed, scanned and tagged to be sent to the aircraft. After check-in, passengers move through to the security where both hand baggage and passengers are screened. At the boarding gate, tickets will be scanned and passengers are added to the final manifest for the aircraft. The air bridge is the extended walkway used to board the aircraft. For an aircraft to operate, many services are required. These include catering, fueling, toilet services, and baggage services. Once the aircraft has been serviced, the tug will be connected. It will push the aircraft back into its taxiing position. The aircraft will now taxi about the aerodrome. The aerodrome is divided into the following areas. The runway, taxiways, and the apron or ramp area. The active runway is used for aircraft takeoffs and landings. Taxiways are where aircraft move about the aerodrome under their own power on the ground. The apron or ramp area is the area adjacent to the terminal building where aircraft park and are serviced. To ensure safe separation from aircraft moving on the ground and in the air, air traffic services is heavily relied upon. Air traffic controllers coordinate activities between all aircraft and use standard terminology and phraseology to avoid confusion and misunderstandings between operators worldwide. So how does an aircraft fly? The plane is controlled by the pilots from the flight deck using the flight controls. Let's explore some of those flight controls. First up, the flaps. Flaps are used on takeoff to produce more lift. They are also used on landing along with the spoilers to slow the aircraft down. Rudder pedals are used by the pilot to change the position of the rudder and yaw the aircraft. To bank the aircraft, the ailerons are used. Pilots pull or push the steering column to move the elevators up or down to pitch the aircraft. The fuselage is the body of the aircraft. The passengers and crew reside within the cabin area. Baggage and cargo is loaded into the hold. Now that you have some of the basics down, we look forward to teaching you more.